Like it's NASA, I'm not gonna pretend like I do. <laughs> we'll, we'll just see what happens. Who's up next? Oh, Looks it's, like it's Gamer gonna B. Be Gamer B and Daigo, if the original. Yep. Hey, we're right about something. There it is. Gamer B and Daigo. Gamer B, of course, made a huge splash at Evolution 2010, making top eight, making a name for himself by eliminating Justin Wong from that tournament. And since then has been a dominant force. He hasn't performed quite to the standard he established in 2010, but he has still remained being one of the strongest players consistently here on the planet. Gamer B, of course, Bruce Xiang from Taiwan. After he made top eight in 2010, he returned home to a hero's welcome in the airport where a bunch of fans, friends and family and, the media. and media swarmed him with flowers and all sorts of, you know, gifts. So he became a national hero sensation almost overnight. And Gamer B since then has traveled to the U.S. so often. And he has actually, I mean, one of the things that has to be mentioned is his English is so good now in just two years. <laughs> well, remember just a few months, he, he was here for Evo and didn't really speak any. Right. And then he uh, came back to SoCal like a few months later uh -huh. and he was like having conversations. Yeah. It, smart, he's a smart dude. He picks things yeah. up quickly and you can see that in his gameplay All too. All right, here we go. Match two on the left. Make some noise for And of course, Gamer Daigo Uwamara. We said Justin Wong may be the most recognizable fighting game player in the and United the States. Right. Daigo it's Umahara, Daigo. probably the most recognizable fighting game player in the world. He has a biography written about him in Japan. <laughs> yep. His name goes on books and food and yep. games. He has endorsements. Yep. You know, Daigo Umehara says, I enjoy this ramen. That's and right. that's it. Everyone buys this ramen. He is one, one thing about Daigo that we've been seeing more frequently I think you remarked on it earlier, is that he seems a little bit more expressive than he used to. He was actually smiling when Tragic yeah. did that intro for him, which never used to happen. He's always he had a face of stone, but now you can see things happening. Yeah, but he's, I think he just, I think he's really learned to appreciate this, this community, this scene, and how much this country of America has embraced him. Yeah, he's definitely a fan favorite. And but so is Gamer B. Gamer B has a lot of support. He's a great player, as you were saying before, and I think he has a character matchup that's pretty strong. Especially since you see Gamer be there, armed with Ultra 1. Once he gets that Ultra 1, wow, nice, just got over that Hadouken with the Air Jaguar kick, and look at him go! The, the thing about this matchup is, Ryu in general wants to just be controlling at horizontal range about a third to a half screen in front of him. That's, that's his bread and butter. But Aidan does that probably better than Ryu. And, and so it, when Ryu faces a character who can do that stuff, it can be rough for him. He can't throw fireballs like he would like. Uh, he, he can't press down medium kick or crash medium kick like he would like. And Adon has really strong pressure on Ryu's wake up. Wow! Just do it. Look at this gamer beats putting on a clinic. Walk up, do it again. No, okay, great job by Daigo to <laughs> take control. All right, Daigo has an opportunity. One uppercut FADC Ultra is gonna take it. There it or is. There it is. The Beast! Taigo Umehara! There's that face of stone. Great comeback there by Taigo. It looked like it was all gamer B. It looked like it was going to be a really strong game for him. But Taigo's making it a run. Adon definitely one of those characters that many people consider to be one of the strongest in the game these days. Yep, I agree with that. Whoa! Weird looking. Yeah, got that uppercut to go the wrong way, almost to the point where a confused gamer beast punish, it felt like. Wow, you know, Daigo has not actually guessed wrong on any of those cross-ups or not cross-ups so far. That's, oh, finally. There it is, right there. Those are hard to see. And close to Dizzy is Daigo. Well, not anymore. Okay, now he should be okay. Oh, he just bulldog in his way in walk-up throw. Oh! And that's it! Wow, I didn't think he was going to die, but he does. Actually, Gamer B didn't either. You see, reels in his seat. Dude, just last, barely. Last second, Hurricane. And you see... That's team, a Brosa fan. Yeah, team White Boy back there throwing his drink down, celebrating. Wow, jeez! <laughs> Get in there, yes! That's a bro. Very excited by that play. And now Gamer B trying to go at him with... The stand roundhouse barrage. I, I really feel like Taigo escaped with the game right there. There were it was oh, yeah. really the end of two rounds. Oh shit! Oh. Whoa! 
Oh! Wow. Fanciness. I thought he was just going to do Fierce and a Dragon Punch. I don't think I've ever seen that Adon combo. I'm not going to lie. I I'm actually not going to lie either. I've, I've definitely never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to like everybody else just doing basic stuff. <laughs> yep. Of course, all the Adon players out there, psh, we've seen that a million times. Yeah, uh-huh. Probably. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, they're trading those Dragon Punches. Yes, oh, there's another one. Now, at this point, are they going to do it again? At this point, it gets, yeah, it gets a little weird at some point. Yeah, but Gamer B's got to be careful. This is about where Daigo made that comeback last game. Yeah, in two rounds. Now, these two have played each other a lot. Before Gamer B was known in 2010, there was a ton of YouTube videos of these two going up against each other, yeah. Ryu versus Gamer B. Just floating around. Yeah, on even the though Gamer B is from Taiwan, he plays in the Japanese um, Street Fighter 4 online. Yeah, he set his console to Japanese territory specifically to play against the Japan players. Yep. And of course, the internet in Asia, very, very good. And look at Daigo. Oh, little by little by little by little. He's been whittling away that life. And at this oh. point, oh, oh, oh. Even, now is this going to be enough? Oh, it is! He has escaped the last hit, and there is the stoic look of Daigo Umahara. He has found that last pixel in two of these rounds now, where it just looked like Adon was going to walk away to live to fight, but no. And again, Gamer B coming out to a lead, but will that even matter? Daigo just likes to make Gamer B feel comfortable and then tear his heart out of his chest. Oh, not okay. this time. That's a great answer there from Gamer B with the perfect. He evens it up one to one. And this is winner's bracket, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, going to punish that Air Jaguar oh. kick. Air Jaguar kick, focusable. Ground Jaguar kick is not. Oh, wake up, uppercut. Just do it. And he was looking for the same from Daigo. That's why the, dag the back dash. Oh, nice punish on that low roundhouse. Traded no trade. uppercut. Nice combo there from him. Does a great job of maximizing all his opportunities. Of course, if you hit a crouching character with that low strong, you cannot combo into anything except the super. Right. That's the only thing that will connect. Wow, oh, chase him. Down with his own FADC. Oh, look at that. A trade in the ultra. Boom! KO for Daigo! Unbelievable how Daigo has escaped in so many of these rounds. I really feel like Gamer B should already be in top 8, but Daigo has just managed to get in there and make it happen. Daigo now he wow. is in total control over Gamer B. Even oh. that's not that big a deal. Yeah, Look at the not? punishment. Why not? Oh, here we go. Alright, now can Gamer B make a, make a comeback of his own? That'd be a great answer here. Yep. Yo, oh, no. no he's, he's not going to get it. Daigo is going to be in top eight on Sunday. You know, this is so consistent from Daigo. Every time it gets to the last round or the last match, he can come to that moment where he just walks forward and uppercut. It's like he knows when players are at their last leg, he just gets this freedom to walk at people and just be like, doo -doo 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 hi, in the face, and then, yeah, exactly. There you can see the crowd. There's a lot of people, yeah. and they are hype. If they pan up higher, you'll see a lot more people back there. You cannot even see all of the, the, the sea of humans out there all watching this tournament. Wow, this is so crazy. What? A, again, we are...